rev it up and welcome to Cars Yeah, show number 1,635. This is Cars Yeah, where you'll enjoy interviews with inspiring automotive enthusiasts. Mark Green is here to provide you with a fuel injection of automotive inspiration. So get in, sit down, buckle up, and get ready for a wild ride here on Cars Yeah. Hello, inspiring automotive enthusiasts, and welcome to Cars Yeah. I'm revved up and very excited to share with you today a guest calling in from Indianapolis, Indiana, where they ran the Indy 500 not too long ago, Eric Golubik. Eric, are you buckled up and ready for a fun ride? Yes, I am. I'm ready to go. Eric Golubik, uh, actually, before I introduce you, I'm going to ask you something, Eric. What's one thing that most people don't know about you? Originally from Ohio, Youngstown, Ohio. Canfield actually grew up there, moved out here 14 years ago. One odd thing probably would be my first job. It was Dairy Queen. I worked at Dairy Queen for the very first job at 15 years old. <laughs> so you're one of those guys that about to hand me one of those blizzards and dip, hangs it upside down and says, uh, there you go. So that's the thing that reminds me of, I haven't been to a Dairy Queen in a long time, but that's what I always remember is they would take those things and put them upside down. So uh, I guess that meant they were thick or something, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I probably ate, I ate as much uh, Dairy Queen as, you know, my paycheck was back in the day. If I worked at that place, I would put my face under my mouth <laughs> under the tap and just fill it up, I think. Yeah, I got to stay away from places like that because it's uh, – it's pretty tasty, but I would eat more than I really should. So, uh, yeah, I, I couldn't do that. What happened? Well, let me give Eric a proper introduction. We'll dive into his life uh, as somebody who does a very a good job of taking care of vehicles. Eric Golubik is co-founder at Clearview Products, a windshield protective film that is optically clear, a heat, UV, and glare reducer that is also environmentally friendly. He's a certified detailer through the International Detailing Association, known as the IDA, and he has over 20 years of experience in surface care on a variety of vehicles. Eric's been attending car shows and events since he was just five years old, and his enthusiasm and passion extended into a career in automotive detailing. He works through and with adult and youth education programs, combining training and education. That's a passion of his. He also works with nonprofits, including Children's Bureau, Boys and Girls Club, the Veterans Affairs Office, the Edna Martin Center, and Urban League. Chris drives a multi-award winning 2010 Cadillac CTS-V that he loves to take to car shows and share with others. We'll be back in a minute to talk with Eric, but first a word from our valued sponsors that make this show possible. Give them a listen, give them a little love, better yet, give them a little business because they're the reason I'm here every day with you. So sit tight, keep your seatbelt on, we'll be right back. The best way to protect your vehicles is with a Covercraft custom fit car cover. I know because I've been using their covers on my vehicles since 1975. Plus, they offer a multitude of options depending on your situation. Indoor covers include form fit, dust stop, the oh so soft fleece satin, and their very unique view shield, a cover that protects while allowing you to see your favorite vehicle while the cover's on your car. Amazing. Need a cover that will protect your ride outside? Their incredible options allow you to choose from Weather Shield, Sombrella, Weather Shield HD, Block It, Reflect, Carhartt, Evolution, Nova, and Weather Shield HP. So many options. Whether you're looking for rain protection, UV shielding from the sun's damaging rays, breathability, dust protection, snow protection, even ding protection and protection from those paint destroying bird droppings. They've got you covered. Their soft touch covers are safe for your paint and the custom fit keeps them from blowing off. If you live in a windy area, get the Covercraft Gust Guards. They're a must have if your car sits outside in windy conditions. Worried about theft? They have cable locks too with built in grommets that keep your cover safely on your vehicle. Their website makes ordering fast and easy, and their talented customer service department will walk you through any ordering questions. They can customize a cover for almost any vehicle on the planet. And I've got a deal for you. If you use the code yeah 120 at covercraft.com you'll get 10 percent off your covercraft order that's right so go to covercraft.com use the code yeah y-e-a-h 120 at checkout and get 10 percent off on me mark here at cars yeah covercraft 
They've got you covered. American Collectors Insurance, that's who now protects my Porsche Turbo. Yeah, the one I call my orange crush. When it came time to renew my policy, my carrier jacked my rates up, even though I'd been with them for years. I'd never made a claim. No tickets, nothing. What's with that? Adios. So I started shopping around and kept hearing about American Collectors Insurance from fellow automotive enthusiasts, friends, and folks in the car industry. I did some investigating and learned that American Collectors Insurance have been protecting collector vehicles since 1976. I'm not a price shopper when it comes to insurance. I want to be able to sleep at night. I also want agreed value protection for my special ride. With an agreed valued policy from American Collectors Insurance, I'll be paid what my vehicle's full agreed value is. A number I set with the insurer at the start of the policy so I know there will be no surprises about what my car's value is, should something terrible happen. I shopped around and decided to protect my car with American Collectors Insurance. Give them a call for a quote today at 866-ACI-YEAH, that's 866 866- Two two four nine three two four, and protect the ones you love. Make sure you tell them Mark sent you. You'll be glad you did. American Collectors Insurance. Classic car insurance designed by collectors for collectors. All right, Eric, we're back. I want to start this show by asking you for a success quote or a mantra. I know that you love to inspire and teach other people how to do things and how to help them be successful. So this shouldn't be too hard for you. It's a nice way to get the, I usually say the inspirational tire turning, but I'm going to say the uh, orbital wheel spinning since you're into uh, taking care of cars. And I know all about orbitals. I used to sell those for a living. So Eric, grab the machine polisher. (laughs) I'd say um, one quote that I usually use when I do Educational programs, uh, I tell people, birds of a feather flock together. And uh, if you run around with losers, you'll end up a loser. So a lot of these nonprofits that I've worked with, you know, troubled youth, people been incarcerated and stuff like that, try to get them in a better place. And that's why I like to use that, to try to get you around business-like people, get you in, in a positive environment. Oh yeah, it's so important. It's uh, there's a great saying that uh, we are the culmination of the top five or ten people that we hang around with, and yep. and boy, are we seeing that in our country right now with a lot of very misdirected youth hanging around with the wrong people, doing an awful lot of bad things. And if you could just take them and show them there's a better, positive way to be successful in life. Uh, imagine what they could accomplish. I think it'd be tremendous. What is it for you that excites you so much to help these young kids, some of them that are in trouble? Maybe they've got difficult backgrounds, challenging backgrounds. What does this do for you? Why do you like it so much? It's just a good feeling. Um, When, for example, I work with a gentleman at the Edna Myron Center named George, 40 years old, been to jail four times, and... um, you're not only teaching the skill, but you're teaching a, a better way of life. And mm-hmm. work with him for a number of months, a year goes by, and then reconnected. And he said, you know, uh, it took a while for what you said to really sink in, but but it really did help. And he came back, said he got married, had a kid, really cleaned up his life. And that's just very humbling. Oh, Yeah. I mean, I tell you what I've learned here, Eric, uh, after 1,600 plus interviews is that we as human beings, when we're giving to others and helping others, we really are in the best place we can possibly be. And for what you're doing for people, and you think about this, you have a little window of this gentleman, George's life, that you're trying to help him find a better way. And you're trying to undo 40 years of bad behavior, bad Mm. influences of Probably he had a challenging youth growing up. I don't know, but, you know, usually that's the case. Uh, Absent parent or Mm -hmm. parents that no parents at all, or he's, you know, picked the wrong people. So that's going to be awfully rewarding for you to see how you, through teaching somebody about car care, can change an entire life. It's exactly like car care because you look at a car and, hey, you know, give us a little buff and and a little shine and, and watch it really become a, a better car, clean, get it cleaned up and, and whatever. And same with George, you know, 
see his potential, loves cars, and you can actually see when he comes to class, he genuinely enjoys it. So, and his eyes light up. So, same same thing with the car. You you clean it up, and it looks a lot better. Same with him. You know, I never thought about that analogy. That's a fascinating analogy. You take a car that's old and tired and run down and maybe has been a bit abused and not loved very much, and you make it shine again. And it sounds like that's exactly what you're doing with the people and the organizations and the youth that you help, in this case, George, an older Mm -hmm. gentleman. Have you found this, Eric? Everybody has potential. They just sometimes need to be shown the way. Exactly. Like I was saying with my quote, just hanging out with the wrong people and uh, getting into trouble, and that's how he landed in jail four times, and tried to get a positive environment. Who knows where he can take it? Exactly. He can be a uh, a great source of doing the same and sharing that with others who uh, might have shared his background and showing them the way, mm-hmm. because he's got the credibility, mm-hmm. you know? So, yeah, I think that's great what you're doing. Well, let's dive a little deeper into Clearview products. I'd love for you to Talk more about what your business entails. I know Clearview products, you provide films for windshields and and so forth, but you do a lot more. You're into detailing. You've been taking care of surface care on vehicles for a long, long time. So tell us everything you can about Clearview products, about detailing, but I also want you to talk more about your involvement with all these groups and how you're helping people. And then in our pre-show chat, you even mentioned some organizations you're trying to do even more of that with. So take it away. Well, I guess kind of rewind even farther back. I started in car collision uh, while I was in college. I'm 39 and uh, got in, started with that when I was 20. So I learned detailing the hard way. I mean, detailing come a long way um, in 20 years. Um, the wool pad, foam pad, boom, the 3M, that's your choices. Uh, you didn't have the ceramic coatings and the fancy lights and pads and all these different buffers. You had the Makita. And I learned on fresh paint, uh, fresh out of the booth. And that's a whole other uh, story versus something that's cured. Uh, I learned how to prep cars for paint, tear them down, put them back together. So um, many years of that, of, you know, uh, I was just telling somebody today, it's okay to make mistakes. And I started... I didn't have these training programs. I mean, flat out screwed up. I remember the very first car I buffed, I screwed it up. (laughs) And because, you know, a wool pad is different from a foam pad and nobody taught me anything. I was just thrown into it. Those wool pads will eat paint. I've told multiple people, like, the opportunities that you have now to learn, I I didn't. I made plenty of mistakes, but you fail forward. Fast forward some many years of car shows, working for dealerships, body shops, graduated from Youngstown State University. The clear view is window protection film that's four mil, completely clear. And for those people that rock chips, cracks in the window, it, it's, it's applied just like window tints, slip solution, put it on. Mm-hmm. And great part about it, it's not permanent. So you put it on. Something damages the film, you heat it up, you take it back off instead of replacing your windshield. And of course, probably saying, okay, well, I have insurance. However, you know, the windshield is not meant to come out of the car. It's supposed to be permanent. So, Mm -hmm. you know, if somebody takes that back out, sure, you can, insurance can come out and replace it. But who's to say that the person that comes out doesn't install it right? Then it fogs up. Then you have water leaks. My uncle has an Audi, and they came out, put a new window in, and it's got a heated windshield. And they did plug it in, so they come back out, take it back out, plug it in, put it back in. The mistakes that can be made taking a window in and out, in and out, especially, you know, call an insurance company, okay, you're running that up, and, you know, making them mad and constantly. I've had people tell me, you know, two, three windshields in a year. So, um depending on the part of the state or a different country. Uh, I've had a lot of calls out of Canada. People tell me, you know, the stuff that they put down in the wintertime, really uh, wicked stuff and breaking windshields. And you know, so this helps with that. It could go on any glass, car, truck, SUV. I sell individual pieces and I sell it in rolls. And I don't, the, 
do the pre-cut, I just sell like a 48 inch by six foot. Then you could custom cut it to any windshield. And I even got into travel trailers a year ago. And uh, people, I had a gentleman out of Tennessee reach out to me, real issue with the tow vehicle kicking up rocks and hitting the Rockwood mini lights. Sort of putting glass in the front in, in the in the front of the trailer, and then you know that that glass costs a thousand dollars, and then it's not easy replacing that or even getting the trailer in to get it fixed. So that takes care of the problem. It's either you can put it on, or you can have somebody that does window tint or paint protection film or put it on. It's pretty easy. I have an installation video on YouTube. Go to Clearview Products. Oh, oh, LLC on YouTube, and I have some to check out those videos. You know how to do that kind of thing. Is it very hard for your average do it yourself to put it on, or would you suggest people take this to somebody that has been applying a lot to tin? I'm sure they could put it on very fast. <laughs> it's on the RV, it's not too terrible, especially like you're not driving it, or the, the travel trailer that is, you're not driving it. So uh, you want it to look as best as possible, but, you know, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Again, that window's already tinted, so you're putting that over, and as long as it protects. But for your car, if you've never done that, I definitely recommend somebody that does window tinting in your area can, that, can install that for you. Now, I wanted you to talk a little bit about these programs that you do to help people as well. Yeah, I've worked with nonprofits schools in the Indianapolis area, like Central Nine, I uh, worked with their auto body class. One thing that I'm working on right now, um, I had a Zoom meeting like two weeks ago with Indiana Wesleyan University. They have a new program called the talentladder.com certification programs. And I'm trying to get like a small business certification. We're trying to work on putting something like that together as, as long with the uh, like auto, uh, window tinting, detailing, paint protection film, paint with dent repair, create online courses, and then at some point be able to do a hands-on piece. We've been going back and forth for a while about creating short-term programs because it is said that in 10 years that half of America would be self-employed and college isn't for everybody and COVID has really taught people to work from home. So if you have a garage, you can do window tinting, detailing, and so on. But you need to know the back end of the business. Yeah. You could be amazing at window tinting, amazing in detail, but you're not very good with computers. You're not good at accounting. You, this is where I've been working on with this for a while now. Be able to create a small business thing where you do learn about management and accounting and social media and you know, safety and marketing, whatever, you know, we put together and be able to even, even we talked about maybe even coming to the business and uh, you don't have time. Your, your business is out in the country. You don't have time to go come to you and help you with maybe you're older and you're not good with social media or stuff like that. And be able to help small businesses because um, they said they've had, they've had other industries reach out to them and people have problems with, the office side of it. And what's great about their certification program that if you want to continue and get your bachelor's degree, uh, those three credits will go carry over if you want to get an associate's or bachelor's. So it helps people learn how to run and have their own businesses. I've heard this very common with a lot of guests of mine that they might be good technically. Maybe they're a fabricator, a builder, a painter, a detailer. Mm -hmm. But they don't know a lot about running a business. And that's where they always get kind of trapped and caught up and starts to create a real challenge. It makes the what they're doing not fun anymore. Uh, so I love to, to hear that you're helping people with that end of it because it is very, very important. Uh, let me ask you this ab about a big challenge or a big uh, failure you may have faced along the way. Uh, walk us through one of those situations, but tell me, how you moved out of that and what was the lesson learned so that you could improve things and come out in a positive way? When I started doing nonprofit and whatever education stuff, you're not selling something. You're empowering adults and youth. And uh, you have to present yourself differently. You're not selling a detail. You're not selling 
car care products and you have to prove it and, and you're just not going to just snap your fingers and get in the doors. You generally have to show that you want to do this and want to be there and not just fly by nights and have some experience, with, but I'm very persistent. And uh, I started talking to Indiana Wesson two years ago before they started the, the top ladder and just consistently like I'm here. I want to, well, let's work on this. Same with some of these other nonprofits, the school. Um, I went over to the school. They had a car show. Hey, who, who, who do I need to talk to? But it was summertime. So we reconnected when the school opens. So it's just being persistent and uh, just not trying to be pushy and, uh, stuff takes time, and that's what a lot of people don't understand. Uh, stuff doesn't happen overnight. Timing is everything. Tenacity, persistence, grit, all those things are common traits mm-hmm. that I hear from my inspiring automotive enthusiasts. Well, I'm really proud of what you've done, and especially that you're helping so many people. It's absolutely fantastic. That's what the world needs more of. Let's take a short break. I'm going to put a couple ad spots in here for our listeners. I hope you listeners give these uh, ads a listen Give our sponsors a little love because they're the reason we are able to do this every day. We'll be back and I will talk with Eric a little bit more about his personal passion for cars. So sit tight. Let's take a pit stop from the conversation and talk about my charity of choice here at Cars Yeah, America's Automotive Trust. America's Automotive Trust is a group of like-minded nonprofits working together to preserve and promote car culture across the country. Together, they provide scholarships and grants to aspiring technicians and restoration artists. They provide youth education programs and bring communities together through auto-related events, car shows, and drives. One of those nonprofits is very near and dear to my heart because it's right down the road from the Cars Yeah! headquarters. It's the LeMay America's Car Museum in Tacoma, Washington. One of the world's truly great automobile collections and one of those must-see bucket list destinations for car people like you and me. If you haven't seen it, I hope you make a trip soon. And if you have seen it, it's probably time to visit again. To learn more about this fantastic museum, go to www.americascarmuseum.org. And while you're there, you can donate to help them keep their engines running. That's www.americascarmuseum.org carmuseum.org. My favorite collector car magazine is Keith Martin's Sports Car Market. I've been a subscriber for decades. Sports Car Market is the Wall Street Journal for enthusiasts and collectors. It's your monthly must read. Whether you dream of owning a collector car, maybe you have two or maybe you've got 200. Sports Car Market has been around for 31 years and it's filled with valuable articles, intelligent write-ups, and the latest auction sales. Go to sportscarmarket.com and subscribe today. Here's a couple deals I have for you just for listening here on Cars Yeah. If you use the checkout code Cars Yeah, you'll receive a 50% discount on your digital subscription at Sports Car Market. That's an exclusive offer from Cars Yeah. And guess what? Here's another deal. If you'd like to get the actual magazine, use the code BSH for buy, sell, hold. That's code BSH. And you'll get $10 dollars off your annual print subscription. That's right, $10 off. Both of these are exclusive offers here at Cars Yow for Sports Car Market Magazine. Just go to sportscarmarket.com and get your deals today. Kevin Buckler is a winning racer and team owner of the Racers Group. He has over 100 professional wins, multiple wins at the 24-hour of Daytona, and a win at Le Mans. Kevin realized the racing world is about the people and founded Adobe Road Winery. He and his team have created a winning combination with the Racing Series, four ultra-premium red wine blends that are in a class of their own with a racing twist. Just like in racing, these wines comprise of art, precision, engineering, science, superb taste, all blended together with a whole lot of fun. There are four carefully crafted blends with race-inspired names. Redline, Apex, Shift, and the 24. When you purchase all four, you get the entire lineup in a beautifully designed gift box. There's a printed description of the blends inside the box lid, and every bottle is parked in a protective die-cut placeholder. 
The bottles feature three-dimensional labels, and I promise you'll want to keep them after enjoying these delicious wines. The box is so cool, you'll want to keep it too. The Racing Series is a killer gift for the automotive enthusiasts in your life, and I have a deal for you. If you use the code CARSYEAH, all one word, all caps, at checkout, you'll get $10 off any purchase of wine from the Racing Series. Your wine ships promptly and arrives quickly. Use the code CARSYEAH at checkout for $10 off on your purchase today. There's always a seat at the table for excellence with the Racing Series. Go to adoberoadwines.com and use the code CARSYEAH today to get your deal. (coughs) Cheers. All right, Eric, we're back, and I want you to share a story that instigated your personal passion for cars and detailing and all that. Is there a pivotal moment in your life when you knew that you were going to be a car guy? (laughs) It all starts, Mark, with that 97-cent Hot Wheel. (laughs) The 97-cent Hot Wheel. Okay, Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's cool. Do you remember the first one you ever got? No, but, you know, I remember, you know, pushing Hot Wheels around on the carpet and playing cars. And um, my dad, again, I'm 39, started taking me car shows when I was five, uh, the Hot Rod Super Nationals. And been going ever since. My, my old man outside uh, working on his 85 El Camino. He had a Porsche. He had a 280 uh, Datsun. Um, I remember that was orange and helping out. I remember helping him detail the, the El Camino and, you know, the old school Pace wax and stuff like that. So, what was your really first vehicle? The first special vehicle in your life? What was that? My first vehicle was a '93 Grand Am, but the special vehicle probably, I guess, uh, I had a '96 Honda Civic back when I was working in car collision, and it was done up very well. Roll cage, racing seats. It wasn't, you know, done up. Tacky was very tasteful, molded in body kit. You know, I learned how to do a lot of auto body stuff on that. Uh, took a lot of shows, multi award winning car, really be able to connect with a lot of people. It was in the Youngstown State University newspaper, it was TV. It was, it was yeah, I mean, it won awards everywhere it went. Well, I'm going to get in your head a little bit here, Eric. If you woke up tomorrow and you were a vehicle, actually manifests his vehicle. Now, this isn't what you want to be. <laughs> this is how you perceive your traits as a human being manifested into a car. What would you be? <laughs> I guess my own vehicles would uh, kind of represent kind of me, I guess. Okay. Clean cut. Yes, classy. You know, like my Cadillac. I guess you can say that. You know, my CTSV's got a lot of horsepower. It's built like myself. I'm 6'5", 257, uh, built, but... Got the muscle, <laughs> but but on the inside, but on the inside, it's luxury. Well, there you go. All right, Eric, we're entering what I call the last lap. I'm going to fire off some questions. Have you give me some very quick lightning round answers with quick blips of that Cadillac CTSV throttle? So here we go. What's one of your personal habits, and we touched on this earlier, that you believe has contributed to your successes over the years? Uh, being persistent. Don't give up. How about if I could arrange for you to have a drink or a meal with anyone in the automotive industry, living or deceased, who would it be? That's a tough one. I had, I met with, actually met with Barry McGuire while I was down at Detail uh-huh. Fest, and that was pretty awesome. My car was actually in their booth. Yeah. Oh, nice. And they came over, him and his wife, super nice people. And uh, just yeah. telling me about how he's had Cadillacs and he got to check out. And that was just an amazing day how somebody like that would come over and compliment my car. Well, that's pretty cool. Barry, I've known Barry for decades. He's a friend of mine and he's been a guest on this show. And yeah, really nice, nice guy, super guy. Uh, somebody that I really looked up to when I was just starting out in the car detailing business. And uh, then I went into the manufacturing business of producing car care and so forth. So I always looked to what that how that brand had been built and what they'd done. I think I've had probably a dozen McGuire's employees as guests on the show, really great people. So uh, definitely Barry McGuire would be a great one to send. I have the luxury of having lunch with him many times on the lawn at Pebble. He's just a wonderful to talk to. His wife is a delight as well. Yeah, great people. How about the best automotive advice someone else has ever offered you that you might share that might help somebody out there? What would that be? Well, I always teach 
you know, like in class, detailing is it goes beyond the car. That's what I teach because if you want to detail Joe Smith's six figure sports car, it's all about presentation. So you need to look good and you don't need to be obviously in a suit because it's detailing. However, nice clean shirt, nice clean pants, shoes. People notice things, your hair done. If you have a beard, a mustache, if you're a woman, you know, again, your hair, be very presentable. Look professional, right? Be professional. Even not just what you're wearing or you're looking, your car too. My car, my my truck, I, I go, I have a 2006 lifted crew cab diesel and I get compliments. I just pulled out Chipotle on Saturday. I got the light with another pickup truck complimenting it. And people notice that kind of thing. If you're going to detail, your stuff needs to look good. It needs to be standing tall. Uh, how about... A resource. Uh, I'm kind of guessing Clearview Products would be a good answer for this one. Yeah. Um, I mean, if anybody has any questions, wants to reach out about <laughs> educational courses, uh, you know, I'm working with IGL Coatings. Um, they have a two day course about detailing. Or if um, you want to reach out and uh, if you are a school, a nonprofit, would love to work with you. Check me out on Instagram, Clearview Protects, Facebook, Clearview Products LLC. You can email me, eric at clearviewindy.com, or you can give me a call, 301-730-4727. I'll make sure I put links to all those on Eric's show notes page so you can find everything. Now, how about a book, Eric? Is there a book you've read? Do you think our listeners would earn or learn, <laughs> earn something? They might earn something <laughs> from reading a book too. Learn something from? Not necessarily a book, but I like to go to the bookstore and pick up like small business, like the entrepreneur magazine or something. I wish they still made this magazine. It was amazing. Uh, heavy hitters amazing magazine best magazine ever seen they had entrepreneur stories in there people that are wealthy they show their car their house their fruits of their labor but they talked about how they got there and their failures and it's very inspiring yeah they should have uh, migrated that into a podcast there mm-hmm. you go Uh, Just like what I do here, (laughs) show people like Eric how they've created a a career out of their passion. There's actually a new show on TV. I don't know if you saw it. It's on TLC or Discovery, but it's called I Quit. And it's about, it just just started like a week ago. And uh, it's called I Quit. And it's about people that have full-time jobs, that are entrepreneurs, that are on that fence. They're like, you know, this is... The business needs to grow, and so my job's getting in the way, so I need to quit. All right. Well, before we get into the checkered flag here, we're going to hear from a a good friend of mine who has a great book that can help you keep more of your money. His name's Chris Kimball. He's been a longtime sponsor here. Give this a listen. Check it out, and we'll be right back with the uh, checkered flag question. So sit tight. If you're listening to Cars Yeah, you've probably spent some time working on your favorite ride. But how confident are you working on your finances? You may be able to rebuild a fuel injection system, but can you decipher the details of a mutual fund? If you're like me, investments, insurance, annuities, budgeting, and other financial concepts may seem a bit daunting. But what if I told you there's a book that describes these subjects and more in an easy to read and a very humorous way? My friend Chris Kimball, CFP, a longtime sponsor and past guest here on Cars Yeah, has written that book and it's titled The Saga of Ike and Penny, a couple's humorous journey through the confusing world of finance. It's a fun look at things you need to know. Everything from investing to effective ways to get rid of credit card debt. And it's probably the only book on finance with a VMAX on the front cover and a classic Mini Cooper on the back. The book's available at Amazon for just $10 and this book will dramatically improve the direction of your financial future. I gave copies to each of my children. All securities are through Money Concepts Capital Corp. Christopher Kimball Financial Services is not affiliated with Money Concepts Capital Corp. Get your copy, The Saga of Ike and Penny, today. All right, Eric, we're back, and this last question could be a bit of a doozy. Today, you've hit the jackpot because I'm going to buy you 
a very cool, fun collector car. Something enjoyable, not a daily driver, not a work vehicle, but something you can have some fun with on the weekends. Uh, but you can't sell it to buy a bunch of other toys <laughs> with. Uh, you have to drive it and enjoy it. No dust collectors here. But here's the kicker. It's the only one cool, fun collector car you can have. So what am I buying, Eric? 69 Nova. A six, well, you knew the answer to that right mm -hmm. away. A 69 Nova. Mm -hmm. Well, this is interesting because my first car was a Chevy Nova, a 67. Uh, I have a feeling it was nothing like the car you're thinking about. So give me a couple specs on this 69 so I do it right, okay? For anybody that's seen Street Outlaws, and I don't know if you've seen the show, but Murder Nova's race car, with, uh, he's got like 3,000 horsepower, something like that. <laughs> a twin turbo, yeah, fully murdered out. That, that ought to be it. That ought to do mm -hmm. it, huh? Yeah, I, you know, um, I had Jonathan Day from uh, Street Outlaws Memphis as a guest mm -hmm. on the show a couple, couple years ago. Um, but I'll have to check into this other character that you're sharing because it sounds like this is going to be a pricey buy. Now, what the hell are you going to do with 3,000 horsepower, my friend? I don't know if I should do that. You might kill yourself. <laughs> That's a lot of... That's a lot of horsepower. I want you to be around for a while helping people. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily need to race it, just, you know, be able to take it to car show. Be careful, okay? That's a <laughs> lot of power to put down on the street. That's like crazy talk. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, I'm going to look into that for you. Maybe I'll have one of the many fabrications and builders. You know what? I think I should have the Ring Brothers build you something. That would be amazing. They just built, um, yeah, they built some really uh, rocking stuff. So 1,000-plus horsepower vehicles. I think they could do you right. Eric, you've taken me on a fun ride today. It's been great. I want to thank you for sharing what you do for other people, most importantly, that's really, really tremendous. Before I let you uh, rip off down the, I'm going to say the drag strip. I don't think I want you on the street <laughs> with that 3,000 horsepower car. You know, that 69 Chevy Nova. Is there one little parting piece of wisdom or guidance you might offer our listeners? Never give up. I mean, if you have a dream, um, no matter what it is, no matter how long it takes, you know, don't give up. And, you know, timing is everything. I'll remind all my listeners, you can find everything that Eric has shared with us today on our show notes page. Just go to carsyad.com. Go to the search bar, type in Eric. That's Eric with a C. Golubic, G-O-L-U-B-I-C. You'll find him there with Clearview products. I'll put links to the website, his phone number, emails, contact information. You can find everything you want to learn there and ways to order this product. If you want to do it yourself or have an expert apply this to protect the the uh, glass in your vehicles for sure. Eric, thanks for being so generous today with your time, your expertise, and for sharing your experiences with me. Until you and I talk again, I'll see you down the road. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you so much for joining us on today's ride here at Cars Yeah. Drive on over to CarsYeah.com to find show notes and inspiring automotive fun. Download your free copy of Filler Up, a fun book filled with gorgeous photographs of fuel filler fun, including quotes from more inspiring automotive enthusiasts. Download your copy today, and we'll see you next time on Cars Yeah!